What is happening, my peoples? It's your boy, Manny Tinez, another episode of Fish in Alabama Waters. And today, we're gonna paint us a little crankbait dog. Pumpkin seed is what I got in mind. I got some reference photos on my laptop I wanna show you guys real quick. All right, check me out. So this is a real bluegill pumpkin seed here. Uh, you can see the colors are beautiful. It's got the orange in there. It looks like a little tint of, I don't know if that's yellow. I don't know what that is. I'd say it's more of like a red here and then you got orange, you got a little white back there. This color, I don't know what color that would be, but I'm thinking I'll use like a, like a bluish, greenish teal type of color, which I don't have. Then you have this black dot and then you have the, the white around that. So I gotta figure out how to make that. Then we got the black back and of course you have all the little dots or whatever you want to call it. And they look kind of, they look orange to me, but they also kind of look a little brown in this one. And then this one here is like a lighter version of that one, which is still beautiful fish. And then this is a, a lure that I pulled that I just think looks super dope, man. That thing looks beautiful. And it, it kind of looks black right here, but this on the computer screen is actually like a brownish color is what they used. Oh, I'm gonna try to imitate that. But I love the I love the orange. You can see they faded the orange in there, and then it looks like they used like a darker orange. I don't know if that's yellow they used there or if it's just a really light orange. But we're gonna figure it out. Ain't no, it ain't nothing but blending color. So I don't have this color here, this bluish, greenish, teal, whatever color. But I think what I'm gonna do is just take some blue, mix in some white, and see if we can get close to that color. It doesn't have to be exact. And then I have to figure out how to do this black and then this white uh, circle here. Anyways, let's jump into it. This is kind of what I want the outcome to look like. Uh, of course, mine's not going to look just like this because I don't have all these colors. But I'm going to get as close as I can. Anywho, let's jump into it. And if you're wondering what these things are in my hat right here, <laughs> if you can see them, these little things right here, they're LED lights. Boom! It's freaking dope, ain't it? I love this hat. Anyways, my mom bought me this hat for uh, for Christmas, so thank you, mom. Love you. <laughs> Let's jump into it. Let's paint some crepe baits, baby. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we're going to paint first here. It is one of the Spro Deep Diving Fat Papas. And what we're going to do is we're going to tape off this bill real quick. We're going to paint this with some opaque white here. Now let's get the paint. And we're just going to spray this whole lure white. All right, that right there is your base coat. Just spray the whole thing like that. All right, so the next color we're gonna hit, we're gonna throw this beautiful bright orange color on there. I'm gonna put this on the belly. Um, I really feel like I need to lighten this color a little bit, but I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this on there and then I may mix some red in with it to, uh, to darken it afterwards to spray it again. But let's go ahead and get into it. Spraying just the just the belly and a little bit on the sides. I kind of feel like I need to go up a little bit higher. Let me let me look at my reference real quick. I don't think I need to go up a lot higher because I'm like way down here with mine. I feel like I need to go up a little bit higher. See that color right there is what's throwing me off. I don't want to. I don't know if I'm gonna hit it with another. That's almost like a yellow color. I feel like I should have did that first. I think what I'm gonna do is just go up a little bit higher with that. Um, with that orange and then I'm gonna put a darker, I'm gonna add some red to the orange to make that part darker. And then I think I'm gonna paint the top of the lure white. Uh, hopefully it blends in a little bit and then we'll hit it with this blue color. You can see this side's a little, it's pretty light there. I think this side needs a little bit more paint so let's hit a little bit on this side. Now we're gonna hit the belly with a, a little bit of the red, a little bit darker color than this. So I'm gonna pour some of this in here. I want it to be like a, a darker orange. So I got that orange color and I'm gonna throw in a little bit of red, mix that together and uh, see what color we get here. Hopefully it gets a little bit darker. Basically just get the belly here a little bit darker and a little bit on the sides, not much though.
All right, now we're gonna go ahead and hit it with a little pearlized white here. Uh, so we can give it that shimmy shine. I'm gonna throw that on top of the lure and then we're gonna paint over that uh, with some of that. I'm gonna try to mix some white and blue together to get that turquoise color. All right, now we got the pearlized white on there. Give it a little shine, a little gloss. And we're gonna start fading this in. Now we're gonna try to make that blue turquoise color so we can spray that on top. Let's go. All right, so now the color we're going for is that turquoise color, uh, which is this color right here. I don't have this teal looking color, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this blue and this white and I'm gonna mix it together and see if I can get something close to that color. I mean, if it's not exact, you know, who cares? All right, so I kind of got the color I was looking for here. It's not blue, it's more of a tur turquoise color. I think it looks pretty good. I like the blending, the blending of the colors. I got the teal, then I got the white, and then I got the orange, the lighter orange, and then we got the darker orange on the bottom. All right, so the blue and orange that I mixed together came out to be a super dark purple, but who cares, let's, let's use it anyway. This is a little artist sponge. I dipped some paint on it and we're just gonna barely touch the lure. If you guys can see that there, that's my brown. <laughs> it's not a brown, <laughs> but it's cool. Who cares? Boom, throw that on there. Now we're going to hit it with the dark. I'm going to throw the dark stripe on top, let it fade down a little bit on the sides, darken up the eyes in the front of the bill. And then, oh, we got to put the, uh, we got to hit it with the white, the white dot first, and then we got to hit it with the, the, the black dot so let's uh I gotta figure out how to do that because I have no clue how I'm gonna do that but let's go let's do something all right so I think what I'm gonna do is I have this little this little circle this little piece of paper that has a perfect circle in it so I think I'm just gonna take that and put it right here let's see if it worked Boom. All right, this is crazy super bootleg, but what I did was I just taped a little bit of a little bit of the this cardboard that I use for the circle. I just cut half of it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this over that. Now I got the black and the white. It actually came out better than I thought it would. <laughs> I kind of like it. <laughs> now the only thing we have left is to spray the back, to spray the eyes. That's going to get it all. I think that's going to make it come together, bring it a little bit of life to the to the lure, especially when we throw the eyes in. And then we'll, we'll just uh, paint it with the epoxy and we will be done. Let's go. Alright ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this lure. Alright, I know I said I was done with the lure, but I feel like I need I feel like I need a little bit of yellow right here, so hopefully I don't regret this. I'm just gonna put a little a little bit of yellow right here. I think that is gonna be it for this lure. Got a little splash of yellow there. Got the orange on the belly. I think it came out pretty good. I think it came out pretty good. We'll throw the eyes on this joker. And then uh, we will go ahead and uh, throw the epoxy on it and we will be done. Throw the eyeballs on. And then all we're going to do is paint this with the uh, epoxy. And that is it. Alrighty guys, that is it for the pumpkin seed lure. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, the lure came out pretty cool. I, I really like the colors. Um, like I said, next time I may, uh, 
I may get some, you know, the correct colors. Right now, I'm just kind of messing around, just having fun doing it. I think I think it came out pretty cool. Let's uh, do a comparison here. Uh, comparison to to the one that we wanted to copy. All right, so I haven't put the gloss on mine, but it came out pretty close. It came out pretty close to the one uh, that I wanted to copy um, that I pulled up online. Um, I, I had to throw end up throwing the the belly uh, yellow because I didn't have that yellow in there, and I had to use a different color blue. I just kind of mixed my my blue and white together to get this color here, and I actually added a little bit of green to it too. Now these parts right here that's brown I didn't have brown so uh, I mixed some colors together and it came out like a dark purple um but it, I think it still looks cool man I think it still I think it still looks dope if you guys like the lure give your boy a thumbs up uh, make sure you guys subscribe 